live aus dem Meld, die Roxy für euch, ähm, für JMC. Neben mir sitzt Antoine von Jamaika und ich freue mich total, dass er sich ein bisschen Zeit für uns genommen hat. Hier in schöner Atmosphäre mit dem See hinter uns. Ich weiß nicht, ob ihr das noch so gut sehen könnt. Ähm, ja, und wir wollen ein bisschen quatschen über ihr neues Album. So, hello, how are you? Hello, I'm fine, and you? I'm fine as well, thank you very much. My, my um, ass is wet, though, but uh, My fine. ass is wet as well, because cool. it rained this night. So. Let's talk about your single. I think I like you too. I like very much your video for this. Thank you. And there you describe a story of a band that is becoming famous. I would That's like to. It's a true story. It already happened to us. Yeah, I would like to go uh, with you step by step uh, through this video and ask you some questions to it. So no problem. You choose uh, in this um, video a name, Jamaica, that carries many clichés. Uh, what did you have in mind there? Do you still believe that um, yeah, in nowadays time there is space uh, for, for mega stardom in the music business? Uh, not exactly. Actually, that was uh, that was the uh, the whole uh, the whole uh, irony behind the, okay. the video. That's what we really liked about it. And Somi, the director, along with the Machine Ball uh, co-directors, uh, were really into this kind of mockumentary, you know, like a fake uh, rockumentary. And we put all the ingredients uh, from uh, I, I don't know, like the uh, basic uh, rock and roll, uh, rock and roll uh, uh, cliches. Uh, more than uh, the Jamaican cliches, uh, like uh, like we say in the video, and uh, and that that's what makes uh, makes it funny. The, the the fact that it's far too big, the bigger, the, the funnier for us. By the way, do you like you too? Uh, that's funny because I never prepared a punchline to answer that. Uh, Bono uh, thinks that we we'll, we love him and he likes the band. Uh, that's what he says in But the video. But Bono thinks that everyone loves him. Of course, yeah. <laughs> I have to confess yeah, Peter Franco is a great fan of U2's and uh, when he when we were recording he played uh, he played a lot of songs to me that uh, reminded me that uh, you can uh, go to some uh, Irish pub and uh, listen to U2 and uh, even sometimes uh, uh, just cry uh, your heart out because some songs are really beautiful. I mean one is a beautiful song. I like the Johnny Cash version better though. <laughs> In this video, um, you also um, go in this traditional way. So you send out demos, you sign a record label. Do you think in our days it's it's essential or it's really um, um, necessary to to do this this way to become f uh, famous, or do you think there are other ways to to get su success? I, have, I absolutely have no idea about that because we uh, got pretty lucky. We started making the record and uh, and. Pretty soon we started talking to labels about uh, about releasing it. So uh, I know that from the fact that uh, there are no bands uh, signed because they sent demos to anyone. Unfortunately, uh, it almost uh, never happens. So um, I wouldn't uh, I wouldn't say that to the people. But I guess wearing like uh, really big hats or costumes on stage could help or. Uh, making good songs, writing good songs must be the first uh, and, uh, and most important uh, aspects, I guess. That's, that's what I've been told. You also show the dark side of um, being successful. Do you think nowadays there is big pressure on these huge mega stars or on these successful bands? I haven't talked to Lady Gaga in a long time, so uh, <laughs> I don't know how she, she's doing these days, but I think she's doing pretty okay. <laughs> uh, I don't know uh, uh, per uh, personally uh, any mega stars. Uh, the only uh, person I briefly uh, met was uh, one guy from uh, Daft Punk and I think they were really smart in uh, relieving the pressure of, uh, of their shoulders uh, mm -hmm. wearing masks for instance <laughs> so it didn't, they, it didn't seem really affected uh, the pressure is that uh, I think the only pressure is that uh, any band uh, big or not has to tour a lot uh, these days to, uh, to uh, make a living 
that's uh, I think that's maybe the only pressure. But uh, touring can be fun sometimes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, sitting here, even uh, in some uh, in the sun. great locations. You can't really see, but there's like some kind of a. Arch architectural uh, structure that looks like a you have to see them like in the transformer. evening yeah that's really impressive because at night they are illuminated and it yeah. looks fantastic like like it from another like planet it looks like it's going to, to uh, either collapse or uh, try to eat me I'm, I'm <laughs> afraid your album no problem mm -hmm. was produced by um, by two famous guys mm. Xavier uh, from, Justice. from Justice that's how we say it in, uh, exactly. in France and uh, Peter Franco, who also used to work with Daft Punk. Exactly. Uh, did this have a large influence on your album? Because these bands are quite electronic. Xavier is a friend of, uh, of mine for, uh, for ages. He's been a friend of mine for ages. So we decided, he worked on uh, my previous bands and everything. So we just uh, started uh, working together again uh, really naturally. And uh, he got he, he brought Peter Franco along uh, just because we needed uh, an engineer and uh, and they got like the the actual uh, pop producers uh, role being uh, picking the songs helping us out with the arrangements and everything uh, saying no uh, all the time uh, to the <laughs> to the things we wanted to do and uh, helping us out uh, besides uh, of course the uh, mm. normal production uh, stuff which is recording mixing and everything mm. Um, one question regarding your name, Jamaica. Why did you yes. choose this name? Because uh, to make it very hard for journalists to find anything out about you. Because if I Google you, I don't find you in the moment. You have really yeah. to look it up a little bit. If you Google, if, if you Google us, uh, yeah, like some uh, some some uh, some other time, it might uh, it might pop up because uh, okay. your Google knows what you are looking for after after some. Uh, so after you became time. bigger than the than the land, the country. Yeah, <laughs> but there are many bands that that have uh, irrelevant uh, Google names. So uh, we decided to that we didn't care about that. Uh, the story behind that is that uh, first we wanted to have a name that. Uh, uh, um, ended in uh, a, like Sepultura, Madonna, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Then we uh, we mixed uh, Jamiroquai, Madonna, uh, Nirvana, and Oasis. Some <coughs> kind of a name that was uh, appealing to us. That's also an homage to the country. We never been there, but we'd, we'd love to. And um, and that's that's pretty. Mu and it was available too. So. So thank you very much. Thank you. So das war die Roxy für euch. Bis dann, tschüss. Exactly. <laughs>